Hello and welcome to another online video for the Saskatoon Public Library. My name is Natasha and I'm joining you from the Carlisle King Library, which is of course located on Tree Six territory in the traditional homeland of the Métis. And today we're doing a DIY fidget video and we're going to be making I Spy bottles. So these are really easy to make and they're good for kids of all ages. All you need is a jar or a bottle. So I have this nice big glass jar, um, but you could definitely use a smaller water bottle uh, or you know something out of your recycling. Or if you want to dump it and reuse it, you could use uh, you know any clear bottle. But if you're going to be giving it to a younger sibling or um, someone that you're worried might try to eat some of the stuff out of it, then you should use a recycling jar and make sure the lid can go on tight and then even glue the lid down when you're done making it. So the first thing you need is a jar and you need to find some toys or small objects. You need something to fill the jar with. In this case, I used lentils. So any dried uh, grain or pulse will work. Uh, a lot of people do it with rice and rice is really fun because you can dye it different colors. But I had these lentils so I filled my jar about halfway full with these, these lentils. And then the toys I found, I have some dice in different colors. I have uh, a bolt, I have some playing pieces, a little toy dinosaur, a little Spider-Man, a green car. And the fun thing about this is a lot of this was actually found underneath the shelves at the library here. And some of them came out of board games. So once you have your little toys and you have your jar that is mostly filled with your grains, the lentils, the pulse here, just put all of these toys inside. And this is why you want to make sure you don't fill it too full. Put the lid on. And then you mix it all up. And if it's a bit too empty, now you can add some extra filler. Maybe use a funnel. A good trick if you don't have a funnel is just to roll up a piece of paper too. To make your funnel with your piece of paper. And you still want to have enough room that you can move it around. And now you have a travel friendly I Spy game. If you want, you could write out rhymes and little cards to go with it and challenge a friend. Or you can print out little pictures of each thing and put it on the lid. I printed out a little list of the items and I'm going to tape it to the lid. And then people can take the I Spy bottle and do the challenge. I Spy the green car and a red playing piece. There you go. That's how you make a DIY I Spy bottle or search and find bottle. I hope you try this at home. Have fun, try different materials or themes. You could do one that's all ocean animals. That's been making a DIY I Spy bottle for DIY fidget toys. 
Thank you for joining me.